Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I want to show you guys how to create a creative and elegant entrance for an hotel. I've been working on this project for a while now, which is why I've not been able to create content for a very long, close to a month now. Yeah, and I miss doing this. She thought I should use the opportunity to create content for the channel. This is going to be very insightful and creative. So let's jump right into it, taking you to the plan, the ground floor. You're going to create a complex profile, which we are going to use for this exercise. Now I'm going to go to the first floor. I'm going to go to the option complex profile and profile manager. Okay, then you just say new and give it the name you want to give. Let's say ceiling profile 3, 3, something like that, just to make it different. Okay, so always we use our fill tool to draw the shape of the profile we want. So I'm going to draw a rectangle at about three, 300 mm and um, um, 600 height. Okay, so this is our profile and we are going to give it shape we want. So we are going to create another we are going to create another profile right here. This this right here is going to be the this is a this is a ceiling profile. This is a ceiling profile like like a POP stock kind of stuff. So this is going to be um the light, okay, the invisible light, the rope light, okay, strip light at the top right there, which is going to be invisible, but you're going to give it a different material, and this we are going to give it different material. Okay, um, give it white. I'm going to leave it at this for now and change this to wood. This is what we want wood. Okay, now that's fine. Let's curve this part a little bit. Uh, 25. Good. So just save, and that's it right there. Saved. So we use our I'm going to use slab for this because I don't want the if I use wall I don't want it to interfere with the original wall so I'm going to use slab for it no sorry beam for it beam so the make sure your beam um, complex profile is activated here okay and then you go to the complex profile you see what we created which is ceiling profile 3 okay and then we start drawing now this is the back of what we created okay and we actually want this to face the other part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my complex profile and I'm going to change the direction I'm going to move this right here. Yeah, I'm going to move with this right here and then say save. Then we go again, beam. 
click as you can see like so now um, that is too big I would have loved to curve it at once but let's see if it will take the curve okay okay so now that's fine so we, we i'm going to fit it in here you before you do you it has been grouped by default so you just ungroup it on uh, suspend the group so you can adjust this okay like so so let's see what we have on our 3d I'm just going to curve this particular part I want to be seen so I want to take it up and then take it up here like so okay then I'm going to let's say increase this I want this to be about let's say 250 or 300 Okay, that's fine. I'm taking this down. So there's going to be light coming up from this part here. Okay, this is fine. And I'm also going to create a cover around this. Okay, let's create another. We can we can easily add the cover on this in fact we are going to add it let's add it here like this this is going to be the height of that slab is 300 so we're going to make it 300 by 50 oh so just going to rotate it okay like so and then just curve this part with this and that's that's it right there so it's going to act like the cover okay and then you just give it um maybe white yeah maybe white and that's safe good as you can see this is what it looks like so we are going to create the platform where the car can stop going to go to the ground floor okay and the ground floor taking this a bit inside shifting this back so the car can have
this is it this is drop off this is how it looks like and we are going to add um, the curves okay uh, I'm just going to take the shape using your magic wand so just click the shape hold down your space bar okay and you click that particular shape you created so all we're going to do is delete the ones we don't need I don't need this I don't need this I don't need this but make sure before you delete your your this is activated so you don't delete everything okay now that's fine delete the right one good okay so some space I can just take it down um, by 50 I see take it pretty down good so I'm going to create something like um, I've created I have a profile okay I have a profile like this planter like this okay I'm going to use one of these and create something like this we're going to take create a box Okay, let's see what we have.
music then I'll just um, raise this up a bit okay and raise all this up a bit of course I would have to raise the door a bit up oh, I want the door to be quite big I have to put this here, but I'll leave it like this for now. So I feel like this is fine. So I'm just going to maybe add one or two things on it to make it even bolder. Okay. So just copy this. This is a column. And then I'll take it, make it straight. Okay, and take it back a bit. Okay, this is to control the angle. And let's see what it looks like. Good. So I'm going to just increase the width to so maybe 900, something big, bold. Good big and bold yep big and bold repeat the same thing here this is this is beautiful and bold what do you guys think so i think it's it's beautiful it works well with the facade with the curve so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye